I say it's a big one. I'm not joking. my channel welcome if you're new hello hi i'm katie and welcome back if you're a subscriber you guys are the best so in today's video i'm so excited to be sharing a humongous h&m spring summer haul but i've also within this haul incorporated 10 spring slash summer outfit ideas as well so it's kind of like a two-in-one i didn't really know what to title it so hopefully you know whichever one i did title, end up titling it was how you found the video um, I also share outfit inspo every single day on my Instagram and I'm starting to get a bit better with TikTok so occasionally on there as well. I'm at Katie Victoria Helen um, and I would love to see you over there on both. Now because I did order so much I'm actually going to make this video into two parts. So this is going to be part one um, and yeah just make sure you subscribe with the Lambo button on for part two. So as you can see, I've actually got my blinds shut. The lighting in the room is a little bit bluey, so I'm hoping it's not gonna affect the color of the clothes too much. However, the cutaways hopefully will be the correct color in case there is any confusion with the coloring. Um, so I'm gonna get into the first outfit slash pieces I've got to share with you. Now what I love about this haul is actually how so much of it you can mix and match together as well to make even more outfits out of the already outfits I've made. Um, so I'm gonna start off by sharing what actually inspired this haul. I wanted to recreate a Pinterest photo that I'd seen with this gorgeous like springy blue colours. Now I know there's a lot of brights in at the minute and hence I am wearing this very bright um, blazer which is actually part of um, a wedding guest outfit video that I have done for my channel so make sure you head to watch that afterwards um, and this is another obviously where you can wear it very more casual down for the day, it doesn't need to be super smart. Um, Apart from, you know, all the bright colours, that's what I'm saying, the bright colours that are in the minute, I still do love, like, pastels this time of year and a lot lighter, like, more muted tones. It's much more my normal wardrobe palette. I don't normally go for, like, the more bright um, colours like this. So, um, the picture is here. This is the Pinterest picture that I wanted to recreate. And it's just, it's just so me. I'm actually going to Europe this spring i'm going a week today which by the time you watch this video will probably be in three days time which is super exciting i'm going to croatia for a month um at least maybe longer and yeah i've just been like thinking about my europe european wardrobe which i'm super excited about um because the weather there is not quite as hot as it was when i was in mexico but anyway let's just go with it jesus <laughs> so i picked up this gorgeous blue it's like a cornflower blue sky blue jumper um, this was, I have to get my phone actually, I'll put all the prices down below because I actually don't know them off the top of my head and I don't want to have to keep stopping and starting. Um, so I'll pop up the prices either on the screen or down in the box below. All the links from all the pieces that I share with you will be linked down below in the description box. So make sure if there's anything you love to head down there and check them out. So this is like a lovely corn flower blue. So I don't think it's coming up quite right there there's where it's coming up quite right that is the color of it it's gorgeous like soft knit i think it was under 20 pound really really nice like it's not roll neck but it's like a little bit of a higher neck which i do like um and then it's it's not cropped but it's definitely going to be easy to tuck in for like a cropped look or you could wear it out if you're more of like a wear them out kind of person however i always love tucking things in and the idea was to tuck it into this gorgeous um midi skirt which is actually the same print as um this gorgeous green dress that I had, I think about two years ago, um, in a in a previous H&M haul. It's exactly the same print, it's just in a different color. Um, and it's a dress that you guys actually bought so many of. I think it was the most bought item of 2019 or 2020 back then on my um, Like To Know It account. So yeah, anywho. Um, I was by size 12, I'm size 12 and five foot nine. Um, has it got a split in? It hasn't, I thought it did really really lovely just like super simple every day really easy to wear um really like comfy loose lightweight so it's gonna be great to take away um and again it can be something you could easily dress up with a little cute cami and some heels for the evening so super versatile but also look lovely in the day paired with some trainers so i picked up these trainers no there we are we focused so i picked up these as a nice like spring summer trainer to wear with that look but these are going to go with probably everything in this whole haul and in part two so make sure you subscribe for it um and i just think they're really gorgeous they've got like this um this like chunky trainer which is definitely in at the minute this platform we're seeing this on like the new converses 
um, and a lot of other trainers. Chunky trainers have been around for a little while, but um, this like more chunky, like naturally a smaller trainer is, is becoming quite in. Then we've got this, which I can never ever remember the name of, Hessian, Hessian material, that's it. Um, it just brings everything like into spring and summer and it's just my favourite thing because it's neutral, it goes with so much um, and I just love it. They've also got a little bit of gold detail on there. Um, so they're really, really lovely. They're quite a chunky trainer, they're not too heavy and I think they were pretty well priced. I think everything on H&M to be honest is pretty well priced. There was nothing like extortionate, nothing where I was like, whoa. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's gonna be a really, really cute like everyday look. But like I said, could easily be switched up with some heels or even swapped um, to some sandals. Now on that material, I just said I love the Hessian. The, I saw these and I was like, I cannot not get them. They're so cute, so, so cute. Um, so these are like a lovely Hessian slider sandal. Um, they, I tell you what, they aren't as uncomfortable as they look because they have got, it's not leather I don't think, but they have got like a slightly leathery insole or faux leather insole I'd say, um, insole, inside there. So the Hessian isn't gonna rub on your top of your feet. However, it is on the bottom. So I don't think they'd be great for like maybe lots of it walking around if you were exploring somewhere, but just for like a nice outfit, maybe when you're on your holidays or like popping out and about in the summertime, they're really lovely and they are gonna go with so much. Um, I have got wide feet, so for my wide fit gals, they do fit wide fit, however, because of the wide, I feel like I have to go up in length, so if you're a seven, naturally I am, I went up to an eight, and they still are, like my heel is right at the edge, so definitely size up if you are wide fit on these, um, and these are going to go with almost everything in the haul as well, so just like keep them in mind while I'm showing you the out other outfits. Um, I probably will just pop them up and show you them quickly. Um, the other thing that I love, and this is actually a different print, and um, this is a, it's, it's mid-axi, so it's in between midi and maxi. And again, it's this lovely corn fairy sky blue mixed with another blue. Um, it's a really gorgeous shape, it's super, super flattering. It's got the ruched in at the waist and then A-line skirt. Uh, it's got puff sleeves, I absolutely just love a puff sleeve. And then it's just got like an open, bit here which I was just doing like and you could either leave it undone or you could just loosely do it um, and the other thing I thought would be really nice was to pair this jumper on top of it so for like more that those more cooler days um you could definitely pop the jumper on top and then maybe like a trench coat or something or you again you could wear this dress up with some heels so you're wearing it in the day with this and like some trainers or you could wear this dressed up with some nice little white heels um, and then a little white blazer which obviously I have one to share with you, which is this. And I think white blazers can sometimes be like super, super smart. Whereas this is a little bit more of like a casual because of the material. I have got a lovely white blazer from River Island, but it's definitely more of like a smarter look when you would wear for weddings or somewhere like quite dressed up. Whereas this is a much more casual white blazer. And I also think it's hard to get one that doesn't look cheap because white can quite often look very cheap. So this is a really nice, um, lovely, it's almost a linen material, but it's not linen that it's like too casual. I love the buttons as well on this because it brings in like the neutral tones, nice tortoiseshell button, but like muted tones. Um, and I got this in a size medium. It is quite oversized, definitely quite oversized. So I think if you prefer a more fitted look, size down. So I'm a size UK 12, this is a medium. So I would go down to a small. However, if you wanna wear it like over jumpers, um, then probably keep to the more oversized look. Um, so it's entirely up to you. It's not too oversized that it would be like unflattering, but if I wasn't gonna wear a jumper under it ever, I definitely would size down. I'd definitely wear that, like I said, over that lovely blue midi dress. And then the other thing you could wear it over is this. You could, like I said, you could wear everything, honestly, with each other within this haul. Everything blends so well. It's literally just the color tones. Um, is this lovely, is it midi or maxi again, I don't know. Maxi dress, and definitely on like people who are slightly shorter than me, it would be a full on maxi. This is just comes just above the ankle as you'll be able to see in the cutaway. Look how gorgeous the colors in this are. I mean, it's definitely not in with the bright theme, it's definitely more muted, but I do feel these kind of colors don't go out of style, and whereas these brighter colors, I'm really gonna 
probably only have one or two things in these bright colors because I don't know that they will be in next year. However, like muted tones always come back in that they never go out of style. Whereas like bright colors and things that are quite in, in your face, they kind of come and go. So this for me is much more, I'm gonna be a longer wearing product. And again, can be worn for, this is actually like really, really smart for what it is. Like I think this could easily be worn like on your holidays. I was thinking earlier, like, could this be worn to a wedding? I don't know, let me know if you think it could. Um, I think it's actually that lovely. It's beautiful colors, beautiful tones, like blushy, rosy pinks, and just like really, it's just stunning. It's such a gorgeous shape. Um, I do, I do think, yeah, because it's so lightweight, it would just be really versatile. You could easily work with like trainers in the day for like a more relaxed look, but on like, um, I've got a really lovely white, off-white ecru, denim jacket that would look lovely over that with some trainers for like a day look um or like I said you could wear that white blazer dress it up with some white heels for a more evening look or you could wear it with some sandals like these ones for like a more beachy on holiday look so super super versatile my favorite kind of pieces I just love anything that you can get more than one wear out of because if I could only get one wear I don't want it um <laughs> it's not staying because what's the point like I think we need to try our best to get away from fast fashion and to find things that are really going to stay in our wardrobe year after year and are going to last us. I know obviously sometimes we don't know how good the quality of a piece is, but I think generally if a piece comes and it looks a little bit like it might fall apart soon, send it back because let's just try and like have a little bit more of a sustainable aspect about our shopping. Um, don't get me wrong, I love to shop. But I really have got to a point where I'm like, I'm not keeping anything that I wouldn't wear next year or isn't going to last next year. So I have got a lot better. And I really don't actually buy anything I don't specifically need. Like, I try my best to just keep things that I just need. Okay, so gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. Absolutely love those. Okay, so this next outfit is kind of not very me. Like, I have seen the shacket trend and been like, I'm not really sure for the whole of autumn, winter. Only now, I'm kind of convinced, I kind of like it, and I actually could potentially see it moving forward because it's kind of like a denim jacket of some sort, um, in a sense of you can wear it over lots of different things and maybe it could become a staple as such. Um, because of the neutral tone of this one, I think it can be very versatile, um, but it, it has taken me a really long time to find one that hasn't felt boxy or or like felt a bit manly because that's the only other thing I felt with them is they're like very boxy and I like to dress quite feminine, quite girly um, and feel really nice uh, in what I'm wearing but I don't want to ever make it, because I'm tall and I always feel like, I just want to feel more feminine basically. So this one I love, I really love and again it is quite oversized, this is a medium as you can see, it's quite big and it's actually like a really nice, a nice texture quality. Look at the texture of it. It feels a bit hessian like, I'm not gonna lie. It does feel a little bit like that. Um, it's got these lovely tortoiseshell buttons on the sleeves and on the front, and it's got the nice big pockets. Now this would look really nice, like really simple styling over just some like leggings. So simple, so easy and some trainers. Very, very easy to wear over jeans um which is how I would have styled it in this video um so I picked up a few pairs of jeans from H&M I do find the sizing very hit and miss on the jeans in H&M if I'm buying any sort of mom style jean I've gone really orange why is that I'm not sure what's kind of going on with the light in here but I think it's the sunshine which I'm not gonna berate um yeah, with, with H&M jeans, I do, if they're any kind of mom jean, I go up. So I've gone up to a 14 in these. Um, they've got a nice tucked up bottom. So I think these could be styled really nice with heels um, and sandals. And then they've got like these ripped jean bits in the middle. They are made of 20% recycled cotton, which is always any little help. So they're called the 90s baggy jean ultra high waist. Um, and they say like loose fit. So they're kind of like that more like boyfriendy kind of style. I like them. I have got a pair quite similar, so I probably won't keep them. But I think they go, the tones of these two go really, really nice together. 
Um, and then a really simple top like this to go underneath is just absolutely gorgeous. Now I think like these kind of little basic tops, are such little gems, when you find them, you just live in them. I have one from H&M that I wore last year and I did just live in it. And still now, like I wear it under jumpers and things. So I think if you have like a few really good basics, like these kind of styles, um, you'll just wear them again and again. This one is like a ribbed, um, kind of like a creamy off-white. It's not cream, but it definitely isn't white white either, which I think is nice and makes it a little bit more versatile. I like the sort of like sweetheart neckline on that. And I got that one in a medium, just really easy to wear. Um, I did pick up, I'm gonna share with you, these two caps. Now, I'm trying to like venture out into things that maybe would make me feel a bit less, would make me normally feel a bit uncomfortable to wear. I think things like caps, but I actually started wearing a black cap when I was in Mexico and I really liked it. Um, however, I don't like these ones on me, but I did think the colours of these were really nice and would look super nice with like, just like a, like a chilled tracksuit look with trainers, you know, like maybe like a, um, an airport outfit kind of style. Now, don't laugh because <laughs> obviously it doesn't go with what I'm wearing right now. However, I just want to show you it on. Um, I don't mind it. I actually don't mind it. It is a nice cap and I think they're under a tenner, which I think is great. Um, and you could just wear this like super, super casual, you know, like with a, like, a nice white sweater, nice like joggers, like I've got on today, like these creamy joggers and, a, and like a neutral trainer, so easy to wear. And just looks really chic. You can also wear them for like working out, nice like workout outfits, yoga, like that kind of outfit, uh, like with the Andola kind of styles. But yeah, I love it. I love it. I've completely changed my tone, haven't I? I didn't like it a minute ago. I do, I do it's kind of grown on me now. I think it's because I've done my, <laughs> done my hair since earlier. I don't know if it's like a little bit small for my head. I think my head's a bit bigger than it. Um, so I won't keep it. But I did want to just show you them because the colours are gorgeous. And they are made from 50% recycled cotton. So if you've been looking for a little cap, I do think they're quite sweet. Um, and would go like nice with the outfits that I mentioned. Um, and I would finish off that look um, in the summer. If you just wanted to pop like the jacket on as like an open jacket, as like a jacket, like then I'd pair it with these. Um, but if I was gonna do more of like an evening look, you could dress it up with like a white heel again, like I said, or you could even pair it with these trainers again. So super, super, very easy to mix and match, as I said earlier, all the items together. I'm gonna show you one more outfit, I think, in this video, and then we'll cut to part two for the next one because there's so many things to share with you. Okay, so if you have any interest in fashion, I'm sure you will know that trench coats are really largely in. Um, they have been every year, really. It's been a coat that I've never really put on and thought, I need to buy this. It's kind of been one of those coats for me that I've been like, meh. Remember when the teddy coats came out, I was literally like, oh my god, get me one in every colour. Whereas the trench coats, I've always been like, I'm not really sure on that colour. The tone's not quite been right. It's not really fit very well. It's not really felt very comfortable. And I have to say, I'm, I'm kind of the same with this one. The material I don't love, however the shade is the perfect tone that I have been looking for. It's a much more, that was the floor not me, cream tone than the like camely tone. And I don't mind that, but I just find it harder to style the colour. I feel that the colour to go with different colour jeans is a bit harder to style than this one. Um, I think this is absolutely dreamy. I got it in a medium, it is quite large, definitely would go over a jumper. Um, so again, if you wanted it more fitted to go over just like a dress um, or a top and skirt or top and jeans, then maybe size down. But if you're going to keep it for like going over jumpers and maybe more of like a transitional piece from winter to spring or autumn, summer to autumn. Um, so you will probably be wearing layers, then definitely keep this size. Again, it's got lovely tortoiseshell buttons. Hate them, obviously ordered many of them, <laughs> but I really like it, or it's just what I like. Um, and then it's got what I really love and I have been looking for is one with these cuff sleeves because I think it looks so nice when they're just slightly tightened and they're just like peeking out a little bit. Really, really, really nice. And an outfit that I think would go really nice with this that I wanted to share with you is a super classic outfit that I've seen a lot of styled with these, I don't even know what they're called. I'll put a little picture here. Um, these shoes, <laughs> which when I first saw, I thought, what on earth would you wear them with? And now I've seen a lot of people style them in really nice ways and I'm contemplating them. They're kind of like the Birkenstock in the sense of they are kind of ugly, but I like them. 
like at Birkenstocks, let's face it, they're ugly, but I really like them. So, you know, you kind of just, my motto is if you like it, wear it, give a shit what anyone else thinks. And I do like them. So I might be ordering a pair to try. And I think they would look lovely with this outfit. Apart from all the other shoes that I've shown you so far would also look great with it as well. Um, or just like a Converse. I have got something before I show you these. I have got these gorgeous new Converse, which I'm actually obsessed with. I was like so in two minds. Should I keep them? Should I not? Should I keep them? Should I not? Because my old Converse were really uncomfy. Um, these are so much comfier. So if you are on the, you are the kind of person who's like, oh my God, yeah, Converse are uncomfy, but I like the look. They've changed. They are much comfier. I wouldn't go as far as saying they're really comfy, but they are definitely comfier and they do these in loads of lovely shades as well and they've got these beautiful stitching of flowers on them i just love them also one of the soles is lilac and then inside this is like my favorite bit inside here it says things to grow and you guys know i'm all about positivity mindset um mental health well-being and all like things making you feel your best self um, and it says curiosity, gratitude, kindness and positivity and I'm just like that's such a cute little reminder like while you're popping on your shoe why doesn't all my shoes say that inside like I just love that so that really made my day so that kind of sealed the deal for me I was like I have to keep them I just want to show you the close-up of how cute they are um, and you will probably see those a lot soon on my instagram feed if you follow me over there because i'm going to be styling them a lot when i'm in europe because that's what i bought them for really was we, i know we'll be walking around a lot when you go somewhere new you walk everywhere so i wanted something that was comfy but also like really cute pictures obviously um so yeah i think they would be really cute so I don't actually have a basic white shirt and this is again something like the trench that has been a classic piece that's a staple in the wardrobe especially for like a timeless or capsule wardrobe um, that I've always wanted to have but I've never found the right fit. Now I think this might be the one because I absolutely, oh I've never found the right material. Sometimes I feel it too boxy, too hard if, the if you get me. Like if you've ever tried a shirt on you'll know what I mean. The material can sometimes be quite stiff and it can feel very unflattering, especially if we aren't, like I'm a size 12, you know, you typically see models that are size eight with these kind of things. Yes, I know we have plus size models now, but you don't often see that. Again, I find it really hard to, to tell because I'm not size eight and I'm also not plus size. So I still feel like there's this gap in the middle, which is why I wanted to start this channel, which hopefully you guys is why you're here. Um, just to see what things are like on, my body shape and type um and i love that i get to experiment with clothes and this is like yeah one of the things that i just thought i need to try and find a nice white shirt because i've seen so many lovely ways to style white shirts this summer like open over like um a body and some cycling shorts um how else just like like i said with those shoes that i mentioned earlier with a trench coat and then some jeans so i was like right i'm gonna try this on this is a medium it's really really nice the material is really really nice it's quite oversized as you can see it also came in loads of lovely colors i do really like the pale blue ones that are styled as well um it is gorgeous i think it's really lovely i think this may be the one these are the jeans that i've paired it with so these are a mom jean like i said i go up in the mom jeans these still look very snug i haven't actually tried these on yet they do look they look like a size 12, I'm not going to lie, they look tiny. Um, and they actually do look quite short in the leg as well. They might hit my ankles. But um, yeah, I just think the actual like wash tone of these is really, really lovely. And if you're looking for like a nice classic mom jean, then H&M does always have something for you. So that is everything from this first part of our spring H&M haul and 10 tran transitional spring to summer outfits. Um, spring outfits. I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. If you have, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe with the alarm bell button on. Not to miss part two. It will be uploaded next week. And make sure in the meantime, you're following me over on Instagram at Katie Victoria Helen for daily fashion inspo. So I do lots of reels, lots of styling, everyday outfits, very, very casual. Um, but also a few nicer, maybe a bit more dressier pieces occasionally. So I hope to see you over there. And if you did enjoy, leave me a comment of your favourite look um, or your favourite item. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.